Would you like to quickly get a sense of what tools and activities you can potentially use to enhance student learning in a hybrid context? The Teaching Enhancement Unit, or TEU, have put together a top six of approaches that have been handpicked to offer a good mix to consider in your teaching. You're probably already familiar with Zoom as a live online classroom, but are you getting the most out of its built-in interactivity features? Polls allow you to take a pulse check of what the class understand or don't and provide a simple means of encouraging input from all your students in a non-intimidating way. They are simple to set up in advance and are widely appreciated by students. Breakout rooms offer the chance for richer group discussions where people can talk and ask questions of each other. It's much more likely that your students will communicate with each other in a smaller group and Zoom makes it possible to quickly assign people to great breakout rooms even before the session starts. For those who might not be able to participate live, discussion forums offer a form of asynchronous or self-directed learning that allows students time for deeper reflection on course content. You could use the discussion forums in loop to get students to discuss and debate key literature or investigate important concepts. Students and educators can respond to discussions in text, audio, video, or even H5P mode. Speaking of video, again, you probably already know that you can record your lectures in Zoom for students to access as time and broadband allows. But it's also worth knowing that you can ask students to create videos via the Unicam facility, which offers an alternative assessment mode. Instead of getting students to give presentations in class, you could get them to submit a video presentation. Or you could ask them to use their phones with Unicam to capture a video of themselves performing a particular skill or technique. Video is huge in online learning, but it's important to remember that there is so much scope for video beyond the usual transmission mode. To add another dimension to video, think about using H5P. H5P is an authoring tool for creating visually appealing, interactive content. You can add text, audio, graphics, video, and various question types to create H5P learning objects. This tool also allows you to pull in existing videos from YouTube and add further context, explanations, or even questions of your own for formative, in other words, non-graded assessment purposes. Fifth on the list is the Loop Quiz, which allows you to test students and provide automated feedback on the spot. The quiz can meet many teaching needs from simple multiple choice tests to complex self-assessment tasks. There is a huge variety of question types, including multiple choice, true-false, short answer, and drag and drop. Questions are stored in the question bank and can be reused in different quizzes over time. Finally, there is the portfolio tool Loop Reflect. Loop Reflect is a learning portfolio platform available to all DCU students and faculty. This digital portfolio enables the creation of a creative, personalized and reflective showcase of academic, professional and personal achievements. Whether it's a teaching portfolio for yourself or a learning portfolio for students, the potential to capture a learning journey over time is huge. Here's a quick recap of the various tools and potential applications for use in your teaching practice. To find out more about how to use these and other tools, check out the extensive Loop staff support site, which can be accessed straight from your Loop dashboard at any time. Lastly, don't forget that you can drop in to one of the many Loop drop-in clinics that are regularly advertised by email and are listed in the TEU events calendar. And of course, feel free to email the Teaching Enhancement Unit at any time if you still have questions.